गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इट इन आवर क्लास बट एज यू हैव ऑल रिक्वेस्टेड आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इट इट इन शॉर्ट सो फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम द सिस्टम विच इज कंसर्न विद द रिप्रोडक्शन then what is reproductive organs these are organs which are concerned with copulation fertilization and development of fetus and its subsequent exit to the outer world here you can uh take a overlook of female reproductive system see it is a uh, uterus and here it is a vagina in front it is related with the bladder now <coughs> behind the it is a um, rectum it is pouch of douglas and here it is the uterovesical pouch here it is the ovary so uh, rip- <coughs> if we divide the female reproductive organ <coughs> we can divide it in two parts first one is external genitalia and second one is internal genitalia <coughs> the external genitalia contains mons pubis labia majora labia minora and clitoris the internal genitalia contains the vagina uterus fallopian tube and ovaries and first come to the external genitalia mons pubis see here mons pubis at the see it is mons pubis it is the pad of subcutaneous adipose tissue lying in front of the pubis and is covered with hair then hair is labia majora see outer fold it is labia majora labia majora are two thick fold of skin devoid of fat sorry uh, the labia majora um so uh, labia majora it is uh, uh, composed of dense it contain dense connective tissue and adipose tissue and uh, it is covered with squamous epithelium and contains sebaceous gland suede gland and hair follicle it is richly supplied with venous plexus so if it got injured it can produce hematoma the labia majora are homologous with scrotomic male next the labia minora see uh, in, in it is labia majora outside and inside uh, it it is labia minora labia minora these are two thick fold of skin devoid of fat yes minora is devoid of fat the lower portion of labia minora fuses to form a uh, uh, fold of skin known as fuchsia between the fuchsia and the vaginal orifice there is fossa navicularis the fold contain connective tissue sebaceous gland and vessels and nerve endings it is home and nerve endings next come to the clitoris so uh, clitoris you can see here at the topmost part at the anterior part here it is the clitoris 
it is a small cylindrical uh, erectile body measures about 2.5 cm and it is situated in most anterior part of vulva it is consist of glands a body and two crora two crora the clitoris is analogous to penis in male so uh, you can see in this diagram also see um, a look of uh, external genitalia it is the vulva it is uh, it is uh, sorry it is uh, mons pubis and it is uh, it is uh, labia uh, majora and uh, min it is minora and here it is the vaginal orifice here lies the urethral op opening above the vaginal orifice lies the urethral opening hmm. below here it is anus and here lies your clitoris okay and this part is mons or mons pubis now come to the internal uh, genital organ internal genital organ contains the vagina uterus fallopian tube and ovary vagina it is fibromuscular sheath which communicates the uterine cavity with the exterior Uh, it is around ten centimeter long. Actually, uh, 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 its uh, length of both anterior and posterior wall differ. The uh, anterior wall is relatively shorter, around seven to eight centimeter, while the posterior wall is nine to ten centimeter. <coughs> the vagina is. The vagina is narrowest at intraitus and widest at the upper part. It has a unique power of distensibility. Hmm? It has four wall, the anterior wall, the posterior wall and two lateral walls and four phonics. Four phonics. What is phonics? These are the cleft form at the top of vagina due to the projection of uterine cervix through the anterior vaginal wall. So, what is um, the function of uh, vagina? It forms the organ of copulation. It forms the birth canal. Form a passage for birth. Uh, passage uh, provide a passage to. Uh, delivery of fetus and it forms a canal for uterine secretion to come out to menstrual blood to come out so it has four layers the mucus coat which is lined by stratified squamous epithelium the submucous layer of loose areolar vascular tissue and Muscular layer. Muscular layer have two layers: inner circular and outer longitudinal layer. And the last one is the outer coat is fibrous coat, which is derived from endopelvic fascia, and it is highly vascular. You can see here, it is vagina, which. Uh, uh, here it is vagina. It is connected uh, opposed uh, to the uh, cervix, and it continue and opens at the exterior. It is a tubular structure, tubular-like structure, and it is widely distinguishable. Then uh, distensibility is very good. <coughs> so um, now here. Um, I want to discuss the hymen. The vaginal orifice is incompletely closed with a septum of mucous membrane called hymen. See, it is closed incompletely. It is hymen. Hymen can be of different type. The cribriform type, 
see it is the cribriform type here it is cribriform type the septate type the semi lunar uh, semi lunar type or imperforate imperforate hymen sometime hymen is not perforated the girl menstruate but the blood doesn't come out and in the condition is called cryptomenorrhea here you can see the layers the epithelium the submucous layer the longitudinal and circular layer and the lastly fibrous layer next is uterus uterus is a single unpaired organ it is a hollow piriform muscular organ between the bladder and rectum you can see in the diagram a uh, normal position of uterus is anti uh, anti verted and anti flexed so if we divide the uterus the uh, uterus we can divide it in two parts or three parts two parts means uh, the body and the cervix and sometimes it is also mentioned isthmus the so body body isthmus and cervix <coughs> and body itself divided into the fundal part and body proper fundal the part which lies above the uterine opening of fallopian tube see it is uterine opening the part which lies above the uterine opening of fallopian tube is called the fundus and here it is the body proper isthmus is constricted part and it is limited above by anatomical internal os and below by histological internal os now next now the cervix so if we <coughs> discuss the if we discuss the structure of uh, body of um, uterus we can see the three layers first one is perimetrium it is the serous coat which invades the entire organ except the lateral borders the next layer is myometrium it is consist of thick bundle of smooth muscle cells smooth muscle fibers and it also has uh, three distinct layer the muscular layer has three distinct layer you can see it is the myometrium the outer layer is the perimetrium the middle is myometrium and it has outer longitudinal middle interlacing fiber and inner circular layer this layer can be distinctly vis visible during pregnancy when the uterine body is stretched out and the last layer the innermost layer is endometrium it is the mucus lining of uterine cavity there is no submucous layer and the endometrium is directly opposed to the muscle coat endometrium it is consist of lamina propria and surface epithelium the surface epithelium is a single layer of ciliated columnar epithelium the lamina propria contains stromal cells endometrial glands vessels and nerves the glands are simple tubular and lined by mucus secreting non ciliated columnar epithelium Uh, in um, in a uh, uh, coronal section, uh, uh, the uterine cavity is triangular in shape with the base above and apex below. Now come to the uh, uter uh, cervix. You can see it is the lowermost part of uterus. 
it is composed of fibrous connective tissue and is, it extends from the internal os and um, opens into the vagina through anterior wall of vagina okay it is cylindric, uh, cylindrical in shape and measures about 2.5 cm in length it has two parts the supravaginal part and the vaginal part see the part which lies above the vagina is supravaginal part and which project inside the vagina is the vaginal part in nulliparis the vaginal part of cervix is conical with the external os is look uh, circular in nulliparis woman the vaginal part is circular external os is circular while in paris woman it is cylindrical and the external os have bilateral slit so next is you can see which is the fundal part and uh, here the fallopian tube here it is ovary fallopian tube lies in close proximity with the ovaries and it is the body proper here it is the cervix and below it is vagina you can see it is the uterine cavity uh, triangular on coronal section here it is inside it is the endometrial layer the next is the fallopian tube which is the paired structure it is paired structure it has two opening the uterine opening here it is uterine opening and it is the pelvic opening it is divided in four parts it has four parts the intramural part or interstitial part the isthmus part the ampullae ampullar part which is tortuous and dilated and the infundibular part infundibulum which is the most dilated part and has fimbriated end its function is to transport of gamete it is lined with ciliated epithelium which helps to transport of gamete The intramural part is around 1.25 cm in length while the isthmus part is 2.5 cm in length the ampulla is 5 cm while the infundibulum is 2.1.25 cm in length so it is around 10 cm long paired structure and it has a serous layer of uh, peritoneum and the muscle uh, muscular layer which have outer longitudinal and inner circular layer and mucous membrane it is lined by columnar epithelium which is ciliated function its function is to transport of gametes and facilitate the fertilization in this video you can see how the uh, fimbriated end of fallopian tube take up the ovum and how ovum is transported inside the fallopian tube here it is released over it releases into the peritoneal cavity and it is picked up by fimbriated end of fallopian tube and this biciliary uh, movement which beats towards the uterine cavity cilia beats towards the uterine cavity and helps to transport of ovum and fertilized egg towards the uterine cavity
next the ovary ovary it is a paired structure and its function is germ cell maturation is the storage is release and release of hormones and you can see we have discussed it, uh, the ovaries its parts already the cortical layer the medullary layer so you can see here on uh, there is developing follicles inside the ovary the um, primordial follicle the primary follicle secondary follicle then maturing graphene follicle and there is ovulation and it is further transformed into the corpus luteum it has outer cortical layer and inner medullary layer we will discuss ovary as uh, a separate chapter so it is the end of topic here next we will meet soon with some other topic thank you